Hey everybody, it's Lon Seibin, and we're checking out a drive array from StarTech today. This is a two-drive Thunderbolt array, and the folks from StarTech uh, let us borrow this for a couple days because some viewers were interested in checking it out. So uh, this is it. It runs off of two and a half inch hard drives that you slide into their uh, little bays there. Each of those SATA connectors has its own uh, controller, so the performance isn't too bad on it either. So what you do is you just uh, take your drives here. We're going to do a couple of SSDs. Uh, you just slide them on in there like so. Hopefully I can get them in right. And they snap right into their connector. And uh, then you put the other drive in, of course, do that. And then uh, you put some screws up here to kind of get it all tightened up. And uh, then you plug your Thunderbolt adapter and power cable in and you're off and running. It does have a pass-through connector as well. So you can uh, pass through other Thunderbolt devices, displays, everything else that you would normally uh, keep on the chain. So let's power this up. We're going to do a one drive test and then we're going to do a scary RAID 0 test to see what its maximum throughput might be. All right, we've got everything plugged in, so I'm doing a single drive test right now, so we'll see uh, what those results are looking like. So we got about uh, 240 megabytes per second on the right side and about 350 or so on the reads. What's interesting is earlier to this afternoon, I was running a test I saw as high as 455 megabytes, about three and a half gigabits per second, uh, but now my drive is performing a little bit slower. So I think uh, you'll probably see you know, just over uh, three gigabits per second on each controller. So that's not too bad. Uh, now the next step of course is to do a RAID configuration so that we can try to get the maximum performance out of the array and see what it's capable of. In order to use this as a RAID device, you're going to have to use the operating system. In this case, we're in OS X's disk utility, so we're going to call this Test RAID. And uh, this is software based, but on most modern computers now, it's not going to be uh, that big of an issue. So we're going to set it though to a striped RAID set, and that'll give us uh, the maximum performance. It's also going to give us the least amount of data security because uh, if we lose a drive, we lose the array. So uh, you need to be very careful when you're in this mode. You want to make sure you've got good backups and you're not relying on this as a mission critical kind of thing. It's good for short term capturing and things where you really need the maximum performance, but you have a plan for getting the data backed up. Uh, so that said, we'll go ahead and create our array. You saw that we dragged these two disks in there. It'll kill the uh, drive that's already been created and we'll just let that run and do its thing real quick here. And and uh, we should, in any minute now here, get ourselves a uh, RAID that we can access as a drive. So now you see we've got uh, the combined storage of these two 240 gigabyte drives in a single volume called Test RAID. So we'll go back to my disk speed test here. We'll select uh, that Test RAID and we'll see what happens next. So we'll go down here, select Test RAID, choose that, and we'll let the test run. And now you'll see we're getting about uh, the combined speed of those two SSDs. Uh, it's about 430, 540 megabytes per second. And on the read side, we're cranking away here uh, well over 600 megabytes per second. So even if we uh, stop here for a second and look at like 650 megabytes per second, that's about 5.2 gigabits per second. So Thunderbolt, this is Thunderbolt 1, by the way. Uh, Thunderbolt 1 will max out at 10 gigabits per second, but we are using a good amount of that available bandwidth on this device. Now the array does support hot swapping and you can very easily get the top drive out, but the bottom drive is going to be blocked by the little fan here uh, while things are plugged in. So if you unplug everything, that door will fall further and then you can get the drive out. But when things are plugged in, uh, that uh, door will be propped up by the cables. So when you try to get it out, you're gonna hit that fan. So that's the only issue with the hot swapping. Of course, if you are hot swapping at any time, make sure you're not in RAID zero mode because if you pull one drive out, you're gonna lose your entire array. So you gotta be very careful. Like like I said before, when you're in RAID 0, so back up, back up, back up. Make sure that you are not uh, losing any data in the process. But uh, overall, I think this is a really nice little drive array. Great for SSDs. You get some decent uh, throughput out of it. Uh, we certainly saw with some of these older SSDs, uh, well over uh, 5 gigabits per second in scary RAID 0 mode. Uh, the drive currently costs about, uh, the array at least, costs $233 on Amazon disk list. So you have to buy uh, disks to go with it, but uh, pretty nice. There's also a 4-bay uh, version available as well. This is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching.